Hey guys, what is going on? Jakefleet One here, bringing you guys an awesome video. Now I was just hanging out with my friends today, and I decided to make a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So this video is about the DSR, and it was recommended to me by the Extreme Q Man. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So let's move on to some facts about this gun. So this is just the ammo info. You probably know this already, uh, but I just want to include everything in this video. So non-upgraded has four in the magazine and 48 reserve ammo. Upgraded, it has eight bullets in there and 95 reserve ammo. So that's pretty good when it's upgraded. It gives you a lot more ammo, so that's pretty good. Another thing I'll add with this DSR-50 is it's not a good gun to kill trains with. At least it takes 4 to 5 bullets to kill the entire train, and that's if you have all the zombies lined up. So, um, this is another good gun for course, close quarter combat if you're going through hallways and die rides, and you just want to pick one off because it's going to stop you or get you trapped. And that's, that's what this DSR-50 is good for. Here's some more facts uh, about this gun. Now, uh, without double tap and non-upgraded, I don't know. I didn't really have time to test this out. I only made it to round 17 because I got trapped in corner and died. But uh, but I know from previous games, this is what I got. So non-upgraded with double tap, it's 1 through 23 to 25. It depends on where you shoot them at. And upgraded with double tap, 1 through 30, of course, wherever you shoot them. Upgraded with that... With double tap, uh, it's 1 through 40, and upgraded without double tap, it's probably 1 through 35 through 37. Another thing I love about this gun is you can just chill on the rooftop right here and just pick off every single zombie. Make sure you line them up so you don't have to waste as much ammo, because it will shoot like through 3 to 4 zombies if, depending on the round. So uh, that's what I like about the DSR on early rounds, is you could just fiddle around on the rooftop, and then once it gets serious, you can run rape trains with this gun. So, um, once you start off with this gun, once you get it in the box, uh, the site that it gives you, the default site, is terrible. Now, if you hard scope the zombie, it will, this bullet will tend to go in different directions. It won't even hit the zombie. So you need to get these iron sights. Now, you may not agree with me, you may say that, uh, I like scopes, but when you get down to the higher rounds, and you don't want to waste ammo, this is what the way to go, is iron sights. So, yeah. So here on screen I have when you should when you should pack a punch these guns. Now these are my recommendations. You could do it whenever you want. If you have the money, then do it early. If you don't, that's fine. Do it a little bit later until you got it. So uh, like I said before earlier in this video, you need the iron sights. You can play with uh, the z variable zoom a little bit if you want. If you don't like that, just go back to the iron sights. But if you want the variable zoom, if you're like like quick scoping in multiplayer, then you can just keep that, and it's basically up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the DSR 50 review. Um, please leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you're new. There's a link in the description right to my uh, subscription box. So uh, see you guys in my next video. Peace.